Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores and today I'm going to be sharing with you the new Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. I have 10 of them here and I'm going to be swatching them on my arms and my lips and then I will also show you the lip liners I got as well. So I wanted to give you guys a couple details. These are going to be retailing for $17. Basically available anywhere that you can get Urban Decay, so on their website, Sephora, Ulta, etc. And then they also have a couple different formulas. So you have a mega matte, which is a very matte matte, a comfort matte, which is a matte, but it's a little more of a creamy matte. There's also cream, which is just the original like revolution lipstick formula. You have metallicized, so it has a pearl to it. You also have sheer, which is a satin sheer coverage. And then there's also sheer shimmer, which is a sheer coverage with micro glitter as well. So I have 10 of them and let's get the swatches started. So I wanted to show you guys the packaging real quick. They are in this silver bullet and then they have a little bit of gold at the bottom. You can see it's got Urban Decay imprinted along this side. It's pretty sleek, but still with more of an edgy look. The color and the finish is on the bottom with a color tag. You can see they pop off. There's a little divot on the side, so they do click to close. So this isn't gonna be coming open in your purse, that's for sure. It's actually a little bit hard to open. And then they're just twist up. You can see it's got the Urban Decay imprinted on the lipstick itself, and then also on the inner part of the tube. Really pretty, very sleek, and still got that little bit of edge, which is very Urban Decay. Here's what my lips look like with no product, so you guys can kind of see pigmentation before I start applying lipsticks on them. So the first color we're gonna be talking about is Pandemonium. This is a mega matte. It is a gorgeous purple. Definitely a purple. You got a little bit more of a kind of pink to red undertones. It's definitely not a violet. Doesn't make your teeth look very yellow. And I really like the mega matte formula. It's comfortable because it has a lot of slip to it, but perfectly matte. So on the lips, I think it's very comfortable. It's easy to wear. I feel like this is a pretty wearable purple. And this is a purple that if you have two golden of undertones and you haven't found purples that worked for you before, I think this purple might be perfect for you. Pandemonium has a matching 24 seven glide on lip pencil in Pandemonium. So I would definitely recommend wearing that underneath. I'm wearing this without any liner. This is the lipstick alone. It's a very pretty purple, sits nice on the lips, didn't really settle in the lines, give me crisp lines, and doesn't add too much of a stain to my lips, and the stain is more on the pink side than the purple. So this next color is one of my favorites of the 10 that I own, and this is a cream finish in the color Rock Steady. You can see it is a gorgeous red, We've got a lot of blue undertones and it's also a bit blackened. So instead of being a bright blue based red, like Mac Ruby Woo or something like that, it is more of a blackened, but still that blue red. This is super flattering on me. It makes my teeth look really white. Super, super pretty. This is going to be flattering on a lot of people, especially those with neutral to cooler undertones. The cream finish is very comfortable. I actually got quite a bit of wear with this. Comfort wise, probably the most comfortable of all the formulas that were released right now. Very similar to the old Revolution formula and didn't get any bleeding like I do with the Revolution, but you could definitely wear this with a lip liner if you want to. So this next color is 714 and the finish of this one is a mega matte. You can see this is more of a true red. It's very balanced. When you see it against Rocksteady, you can definitely see that Rocksteady leads a lot more blue and it's more blackened. This is a balanced mid-tone red. It also has a matching 24 seven glide on pencil. So you can pair it with that if you want to have a liner underneath the lipstick. Like I said, the Mega Matte is definitely my favorite formula of the new formulas that were released. It's matte matte, but very comfortable. You can see this is very flattering on the lips. Doesn't fall into the creases, has a nice matte finish, super gorgeous. If you're looking for just a perfect balanced red, I would pick this one up. This color is Big Bang. 
and it is a sheer pink on the cooler, more blue side, and then it also has a micro pearl in it, so it's very sparkly. If you could put a Barbie doll in a lipstick tube, that's what this color is to me. It's very fun, very girly. I mean, it screams Barbie to me. It's more of a statement lip because it does have such a glittery finish, but the actual color itself is sheer, so it's not overpowering. I did find that when I put it up on with a lip brush, it kind of pushes the pearls weird, so I fixed my lines up with a lip brush and then went over a little bit more with the lipstick just to make the pearls look pretty again. But this is fun if you want more of a statement lip that's colored and also has a high impact finish as well. Very fun, very girly very bright pink. This next lipstick is Firebird. This is very, very pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. It is, again, more of the blue based, and it is a fuchsia color. This is one of the finishes. It's their normal cream, which again, very, very comfortable on the lips. You can see it looks a lot darker in the tube than it goes on to the actual lips. And I've been wearing this with the Anarchy lip pencil underneath it. Right here, it's just the lipstick alone. The lipstick also leaves a very, very pretty berry stain. So it lasts a really long time, especially with the staining properties. Definitely one of my favorites of the bunch. So this next one is Menace and it is a comfort matte formula. So you got kind of matte but it's more of a creamy matte while still being matte. I definitely like this color and it's something I would be wearing a lot this summer. This is perfect for if you like the look of Firebird but you don't like cooler tones, this is a pink on the more warm side. So you're getting that high impact, very, very high vibrance, but also on the warm side. This is going to be super fun, especially for summer. Gonna be flattering on a lot of skin tones. Since it is very opaque, this is going to suit people on the lighter color and the darker. It's pretty close to my hair color. I definitely like this color and would recommend it for people liking warmer pinks. This next color is Naked, and Naked is a cream finish. This is a lip color that I've probably reached for the most just because it's very, very wearable. It is a nude with a little more of a pinky beige undertone. Very pretty. This is going to be flattering on those with light skin to probably medium. After that, you're probably going to want to opt for a darker lip pencil if you want to wear this. So have a darker around the perimeter of your lip with naked in the middle but I find this very, very wearable. And then it does have a matching lip pencil. Again, the cream formulas are just super comfortable. So this is something you could throw on with pretty much any look. If you're wanting just kind of a starter lipstick or you don't wear lipstick a lot and you just want something kind of neutral, I would definitely recommend this. Very pretty and very comfortable. Next up is Back Talk and Back Talk is a comfort matte. This is definitely darker than Naked, but not a very loud in their color. So if you're wanting something that's still a little more understated, but you get a bit more color than Naked, this is for you. This is also more mauve, so you've got a bit more of a kind of purple and taupe undertone rather than the more kind of beigey pink. This is also a color I would consider a little more on the mature side, so this is going to be perfect if you want more of a lipstick that's office appropriate. Maybe you aren't so into bright colors, but you want to color on your lips. This is very pretty. It's going to pair nicely with those that have neutral to more cooler undertones. Very pretty and more understated than a lot of the other lipsticks. So this next one is Conspiracy, and I think this lip color is super cool. It's very different than pretty much any other lipstick I have in my collection. You can see it's kind of got a red burgundy that leans a little bit purple undertone, and that's the base of the lipstick. And then it's got a more bronzed pearl throughout it. 
It is not the most flattering lip color on me, as you can see, but this is going to be great for those that have more of a medium to a deep skin tone. It's really going to complement deeper skin tones with that more red burgundy undertone with the bronze finish. Very pretty and very, very unique. And this one has so far been my most worn like bold lip color out of this collection. This is Disturbed and it is a comfort matte. Absolutely stunning. It is a very deep, more kind of red burgundy color I would describe it. It's definitely blackened and the undertones are purple. It reminds me of a more red version of NARS Train Blue. Super pretty. Definitely more of a high impact look on my skin, but this is also going to be flattering on those with a deeper skin tone because it is so full opacity. This is going to work well on those that even have more pigmented lips or if you have more pinky lips, it's not gonna be an issue. Very pretty, high impact on my fair skin and also going to be very flattering on deeper skin tones as well. If you're wanting a red, that's flattering, that leans more of kind of that blue purple undertone and you're wanting something that's vampy, I would check this out. Super comfortable, very pretty. Definitely a color I will be wearing a lot. Even if it's spring or fall, I don't care. Super pretty, one of my favorites from this collection. If you do want a quick peek at the liners, you can click up in the corner and there's an unlisted video that you can go to. All right, so those are all the lipsticks that I have. There is a hundred in total, so there's definitely a lot more out there. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys will be picking up. I know that I'm gonna definitely check out the rest of the line once they hit Sephora because I wanna check out the rest of the shades. I've seen some people swatch the full 100 and there's quite a few colors that are just gorgeous. I'm quite impressed that they're gonna do such a large launch, 100 lipsticks, that's a huge amount of lipstick. But there's lots of fun colors. I also like that a lot of the colors are like throwbacks to colors that exist somewhere else in the line. Like one of the lip pencils that I like is Jilted, which is one of my favorite colors from the Urban Decay Electric palette. So make sure that you let me know which ones you're gonna be picking up down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe if you would want to see more videos from me. They come out every Tuesday and Friday. You can also follow me on my other forms of social media. Those are right here. And if you're watching and it's before May 27th, don't forget to head over to nextfaceawards.com and vote for my video. I will link that video right up here and then there'll also be a link in the description box below. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next video.